Hello everyone. This is a series that will follow me as I go through Georgia Tech's online Masters in Computer Science. So let's get started. First off, a little about me, because I love talking about me. I completed my undergrad at Stevens Institute of Technology in Mechanical Engineering. After graduating, I started to become interested in computer science and started to teach myself computer programming. I used online free services like Code Academy and Coursera, starting with Python and adding in bits and pieces of a few other languages on the way. This is to say that I have very little formal training in computer programming, and I am mostly self-taught, so if programming is something that you're interested in, don't give up. It is totally something that you can begin to teach yourself. Throughout this series, I want to share my experience so that any of you who are looking at this program or thinking about getting into computer science can see what it will be like. All reference links will be in the video description, so if you have any questions, that should be a good place to start. In this series, I hope to cover each course I take, my opinion of the course, the things I wish I knew before taking the course, struggles, what I wish I had done different, how I could have better prepared for the course, and lastly, if the course was worth it. So why Georgia Tech? Georgia Tech caught my eye for a few reasons, and was actually the only school I applied to for my master's. Georgia Tech has a fantastic reputation and was ranked number eight in Masters in Computer Science according to a 2018 study by the U.S. News and World Report ranking. On top of that, they offer their entire program online and had concentrations available in the field that I was interested in, machine learning. Lastly, the reason Georgia Tech was the only school I applied to was the price. Georgia Tech's program is, to my knowledge, the most reasonably priced program I have found with most students being able to complete their degree under $10,000. Comparing that to most other programs that will run up a bill around $40,000, Georgia Tech was a clear choice. Also, Georgia Tech offers a fully online master's in analytics. The program offers three track choices within the fields of analytical tools, business analytics, and computational data analytics. The only additional requirement for this program is that a base knowledge of Python is expected, but other than that, it's just the usual math and such. The price for this program isn't quite as low as the online Masters in Computer Science, but it's still very reasonable. If this is something you want to know more about, there will be links in the video description. Now, back to the Masters in Computer Science. The program offers four concentrations. Computational Perception and Robotics, which of course deals with robotics. Computing Systems, which from what I saw seems to deal with operating systems, Interactive Intelligence, and Machine Learning. What I have found is that AI and machine learning are similar and connected, but not the same. Machine learning is a subset of AI as shown in the graphic to the side. The online Masters in Computer Science program is made up of five to six courses within the specialization and four to five courses that can be outside of the specialization for a total of 30 credits. To apply to the program, Georgia Tech asks for an essay on career objectives and background, which should describe what has made you ready for the program, a statement of purpose, which should speak to your career goals after the program, a resume, and three recommendations. The recommendations aren't quite letters of recommendation. Georgia Tech will send out a questionnaire to your recommenders that they can fill out after you apply. For my application, I used my current manager, a project lead for a programming project I was involved with, and my previous manager. Lastly, as you guys can see, I'm still working on my schedule. As I said, the program requires a combination of specialization specific and elective courses. Officially, you're only supposed to complete one specialization through the program, but because of course overlap, courses that are similar across multiple specializations, it is possible to unofficially complete two specializations, which is what I'm going to try to do. So far, I'm between machine learning and computing systems, or machine learning and interactive intelligence. Right now, I'm leaning more towards machine learning and interactive intelligence, but I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know in the comment section. I hope you all were able to learn something from this video, or maybe become inspired to try a little programming on your own. If you have any questions or anything you'd like me to cover throughout this series, let me know in the comment section. I start the program in January of 2019, so I might try to put one more video out before then, depending on requests. But until then, thanks for listening.